for the grace that God has given to us once again. Let's acknowledge his presence this morning by thanking him, by saying thanks to his name. Let's appreciate God right now for the love of God for us. Let's give that honor to him. Let's give that glory to him. Let's give that adoration to the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, to the ancients of days. Somebody celebrate Jesus from the bottom of your heart. Let's give that thanks to the King. Lord, we thank you. Lord, we thank you. We worship your name. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the King. Let's give thanks to him. Let's give honor to him. Thank you, Jesus, for this grace. Thank you, Jesus, for this love. Thank you, Jesus, for this kindness of your grace towards us. Somebody, let's bless the Lord. Let's give that thanks to him. We are serving the mighty God. Thank him for the great God. What a great privilege that we have received today from the Lord to lift our voice before him. What a great privilege of calling upon his name. Let's thank him. Let's worship him. Let's glorify him. Let's say, Daddy, you are great. Daddy, you are kind. Daddy, you are great. You are kind. There's no one beside you. Somebody lift a voice in praise to him. There is no one beside you, O oh God. There is no one beside you. Lord, we thank you, Lord. Lord, we bless your name. Lord, we glorify you. Lord, we honor you. Glory be to your name, O oh God. El Shaddai. You are righteous God. You are faithful God. We thank you, Lord, for your grace. We thank you, Lord, for your word. We thank you, Lord, for your love. We thank you, Lord, for your peace. We thank you, Lord, for all in all. Give thanks to him this morning as you thank him by worshiping him, by exalting his holy name. Let's say, Lord, we give that praise to you. Lord, we give that honor to you. Lord, we honor you for who you are. Somebody thank him. Give that praise to the almighty God. Jesus, we thank you. Mighty God, we worship you. Mighty God, we exalt you. Exalt him from the bottom of your heart. Exalt him. Exalt Jesus from your heart. Exalt him. Praise him. Just give thanks to him. Let your heart bless him this morning. Let your heart glorify him. Let your heart honor him. Let the name of Jehovah God be praised in your life. Let the name of Jehovah God be praised in your own. Give that thanks to him. He's worthy to receive it. Give that honor to him. Is worthy of all our praise. Give that glory to him. What a mighty God that we serve. What the king of kings that we worship. Give that thanks to him and bless him. Glory be to the Lord. Glory be to the king. Glory be to our savior. Give that thanks to him. Jehovah God, we thank you. Jehovah God, we praise you. Jehovah God, we honor you. We honor you for the grace. We honor you for your love. We honor you for your kindness. We honor you for your goodness. We honor you all. We honor you, Jehovah God. Somebody begin to thank him and give that thanks to him. Lord, we thank you, Lord. Just honor him. Thank him. You are worthy. You are worthy to be praised. Jesus, we thank you. You are worthy to be praised. Exhort him. Give that thanks to him. Jesus, you are worthy of all my praise. You are worthy in the name of Jesus. 
Give that honor to him. Lord, you are worthy. Lord, you are faithful. Righteous God, we thank you. We thank you, Lord Jesus. Oh, bless the Lord. Oh, my soul. And all that's within me. Bless his soul. to him. Let's begin to appreciate him. Let's give that honor to him. Let's thank him. Lord, we worship you. Lord, we exhort you. Lord, we honor you. Father, we thank you, Lord Jesus. Exhort him this morning. Lift a voice in praise to him. What a mighty God. We serve what a mighty God we serve. Have a love him, the human God, have before him. What a mighty God we serve. Serving Jesus, Lord, the mighty God, we serve. What a mighty God, we serve. Ever now, Tadoy, even when you're bow before him. Lift your voice in praise to him. 
Lift your voice in honor to him. Lift your voice in adoration to our king. We are serving the king of kings. Let's exalt. Let's exalt him, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Father, we thank you, Lord Jesus. We bow down and worship Yahweh. Lift a voice. We bow down. before him. Let's begin to bow before Jehovah God. Let's worship Yahweh, our God Almighty. Let's sabbat him for that grace that we have received from him, for that mercy of his word. Let's celebrate him, Jesus our Lord, Jesus our King. Let's thank him for his grace. So Lord, we bow before you. We give that glory to your name. Somebody thank him. Lord, we thank you, Lord. Lord, we worship you, God. Lord, we exalt you, Lord. Yahweh, we thank you. Yahweh, God, we worship you. Yahweh, God, we exalt you. We bow before you. We thank you, Lord Jesus, for grace that we have received from you. Let's exalt him. Let's exalt him. Let's magnify him. Let's honor him. Give that praise to him. Give that honor to him. Give that glory to him. Bow before him this morning by thanking him, by exalting his name. Jesus, we thank you. In Jesus' name, we pray. Begin to plead the blood of Jesus and begin to confess all your sins. Let's just begin to ask the Lord the Lord to forgive every sin, every iniquity in our heart. As the Lord to Jehovah God begin to cleanse you from all iniquity. You see, all have sinned and forced out of God's glory. Let's begin to ask the Lord, Lord, in any areas of life that have sinned against you, God, begin to ask for the forgiveness of the Lord. And the Lord Jehovah God to forgive every sin. Somebody open your heart and begin to pray. Tell the Lord, Lord, forgive me every sin. I dip myself in the blood of you, God. Dip yourself in that blood of the Lamb, that the blood of Jesus Christ to cover you. Open your heart to pray. Lift your voice to Jesus this morning. Father, we ask you, God, I dip myself in that blood of the Lamb. Let all my sin, let all my iniquity, be washed away. Let all my trespasses, let all my transgression be removed. Open your heart to pray that the Lord you may go to wash away all your sin, all your iniquity, all your trespasses against the word of God, against the will of God. Open your heart to pray that the Lord should wash away all your sins. Open your heart to Jesus. Father, wash it away as I look unto you have mercy on me. Somebody pray and ask the Lord to have mercy on you in the name of Jesus. Pray for that mercy of God for your life. Ask the Lord to have mercy upon you in the name of Jesus. As you look unto him, 
Jehovah God, let your mercy prevail today in my life. Somebody begin to pray that the mercy of God to prevail in your life right now. In the name of Jesus, open your heart to God that the mercy of God to prevail in your life. Open your heart to Jesus that the mercy of God to prevail in your home. Father, let your mercy prevail in every areas of our life. Somebody begin to pray that the mercy of the Lord to prevail today in your life. Begin to ask the Lord that the mercy of Jehovah God to prevail in every areas of your life. Somebody begin to pray. Pray for that mercy to prevail in the name of Jesus. Pray for that mercy to prevail in the name of Jesus. Pray for that mercy to prevail in every areas of your life. Pray for that mercy to prevail. Say the Lord, have mercy on me in the name of Jesus. Lord, have mercy on me in the name of Jesus. Open your heart to pray in the name of Jesus. Lord, have mercy on me. Open your heart to God. Tell him that Lord you have got have mercy on you in the name of Jesus. Pray, pray, ask the Lord to have mercy in the name of Jesus. Open your heart to pray. Pray, call upon the Lord in the name of Jesus. Lord, have mercy on me. Let the mercy of God begin to reign in every areas of your life. Let mercy reign. In every areas of your home, let mercy reign. In the name of Jesus, open your heart to pray. Masuto kayaba, mato prodatia, leteribasin to kaba. Open your heart to pray. The Lord should have mercy upon your life. In the name of Jesus, open your heart to Him. In the name of Jesus, ikateli mushanta yaba, ikoto yakate. Lift your voice to God. In the name of Jesus. The Lord will have mercy upon you in the name of Jesus. Pray and talk to God in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, we pray. Remember, Exodus chapter 43, verse 18, told us that God said, Remember not the former things, neither consider the things of old. The Lord is telling us that you should remember. Remember not. He's telling you that you should not remember it anymore. How do you not remember the former thing that's in your life except God himself will remove those things from you? How can a barren woman don't remember that she don't have any child except the Lord bless her with children? How can someone that don't have a job not to remember that you don't have a job is when God removed that, that thing that owed you not to have a job. When you begin to do the otherwise, the opposite of not having a job, now you begin to have that job now. You have the, you have a job now. That's you will not remember you don't have a job because you have something doing. The Lord is telling us in Isaiah chapter 43, verse 19, 18, verse 19, that remember not the former things. Not consider the things of the old. No, don't remember that very thing anymore. Now, what we make you not to remember, he told you, he said, be old. I'm doing a new things. You see, I'm going to do a new things now. I want to open your mouth. Daddy, let me forget my disappointment. Daddy, let me forget my sorrow. I want you to open your mouth and tell the Lord, talk to him, say, Father, this morning, Daddy, do it, oh God. Let me, let me forget my disappointment. Open your heart and pray. In any areas of life, that you are going through things in life, as the Lord, the Lord Jehovah God to help you to forget it. In the name of Jesus, open your heart to pray. Tell the Lord, Daddy, let me forget my sorrow. In the name of Jesus, pray and ask Him. Say, Father, let me forget my disappointment in any areas of life that life have disappointed you. In any areas of life that the enemy have hold you down, open your heart to God. Let me forget my disappointment. Open your heart to God. Pray and ask Him. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, that He will remove it. Remove my disappointment. Remove my disappointment. Remove my sorrow. Open your heart to pray. Remove my disappointment, O oh God. Let me forget about it. In the name of Jesus, Jehovah God, let me forget my sorrow. 
pray and talk to him. Daddy, let me forget my disappointment. Somebody begin to pray in the name of Jesus. The Lord God of heaven to remove you out of that very situation. That very situation that makes you to cry. That very situation that makes you to shed tears. In the name of Jesus, open your heart to pray. My father, I'm coming out of this very situation of my life. In the name of Jesus, open your heart to pray. Mashi katoli mashata. Le prendo su kotayabaha. Pray, makotoli mashi kata. Open your heart and pray. Ikotoli masi kotoli ma. Somebody pray. Pray to God. In the name of Jesus, lift your voice to him. Daddy, I pray this morning. Let me forget about my disappointment. As the Lord, bring me out of these very situations. Open your heart to God. Let God bring you out. Out of that area that you find yourself. Out of that situation. Father, let me forget about my disappointment. Do a new thing, O oh God. In Jesus' name, we pray. Is that not the Anna? In 1 Samuel chapter 1. In chapter 2, verse 21. And the Lord visit Anna so that she conceived and bear three sons and two daughters. And, and, and the child Samuel grew before the Lord. If, I, if you can look at chapter 1, you can see this woman, she was crying. She was crying of her life. Somebody is mocking at her. You know, someone is in her life, the adversary of her life, the Lord silent the adversary of our life. That's how God can silence your enemy. That's how God can make you to forget about your sorrow. Remember somebody that is crying, weeping. One day, even the husband, the husband trying to console her, telling her, listen very well, I'm more than I'm ten, ten, ten children. But that thing can't console her because that's the issue. Open your mouth and pray. Say, Lord, let my sorrow, let that very thing that makes you to cry, the former things that hold you where I am, bring me out, oh God. And that's how you can forget about those things. That's how you can forget about your disappointment. When there's a new thing in your life, when there's transformation in your life, when you enter a new place, it makes you to forget your sorrow. Open your heart to pray. Daddy, let me forget my sorrow today. Ikoto yadama kapayabam. Every covenant that says no, let it continue. Holy Ghost, begin to break it. Can you lift your voice and begin to pray? In the name of Jesus, open your heart to God, my Father. Let me forget about my disappointment. Every power that says to continue, that didn't break that yoke from me. That didn't break that yoke from me. That didn't break that yoke from me. Open your heart to God. That let me forget my disappointment. Every power that wants that disappointment to continue, that it bring that power from me. Open your heart to pray. Tell the Lord you must forget that very thing in your life that is going on in your life today. In the name of Jesus, Father, let me forget about my disappointment. In any areas of life, that life has been disappointing you. In any areas of life, that enemy has been putting you to shame. That let me forget about it. In the name of Jesus, do new things that you have said, O God. Open your heart to pray. Can you pray? Daddy, let me forget about my sorrow. Open your heart to pray. Pray and talk to God. The Lord should let you forget about it. You must forget your sorrow today. Let your sorrow disappear. That very areas of life. In the name of Jesus. That areas of life that you are in. Machata yana makashi keya. Motoli makotoli masi. Open your heart to God. Matori mashike tele. Matori makata yabaha. Makori makashi toroboshika. Matori makatele bokotaya. Le prende sike telebo. Open your heart to pray. La paroba shandorobo. Le prende tikelebo. Daddy, let me forget about my sorrow. Somebody pray. In the name of Jesus. Open your heart to God. In the name of Jesus. Masoto tole makasata. Open your heart to God. In Jesus' name, we pray. Genesis chapter 41. No, chapter 42, verse 51. Genesis chapter 41. No, chapter 42, verse 51. 
And Joseph called the name of his firstborn. Joseph called the name of his firstborn Manasseh, for God said, He has made me to forget all my toes and all my father's house. God makes you to forget the suffering of his life. Today, your own will disappear from you. And you know what took place in his life? The Lord bless him. The Lord bless. And look at it. And look at it in verse 52 of the same verse. And he called the name, the other one, Ephraim. For the Lord has caused me to be fruitful in the land of my afflictions. <laughs> for, for that word to come to pass in your life, that thing must be removed. If that exile chapter 43 must come to pass in your life, that your sorrow, verse 18, must be removed from you. He said, remember not the former thing. You can't continue in failure that you will not remember failure. You can't continue in disappointment that you will not remember disappointment except that disappointment removed from you. And God is telling you, remember not. Why? It's not silent to it that you should continue. He said, no. He said, behold, I'm going to let you forget about it. If Joseph forget about his affliction and make him to prosper in the land of his affliction, today the Lord will make you to prosper in that place that you are crying. Whatever thing that you are passing through right now, Jehovah God will make you to forget it. Open your mouth and pray. I break that yoke that hold me down. In the name of Jesus, I want to begin to lift up voice to God. That yoke that hold you down, the power of that word, that hold you down not to forget about it. In the Makashande, that spirit that said, No, you are not going to come out of this situation. I'm coming out from affliction. I'm coming out of my sorrow. I'm coming out of my delay. Can you lift your voice and begin to pray? That you have promised me that I should not remember. My former thing. Somebody pray. You must come out by the power of God. In the name of Jesus. Open your heart to pray. In the Makanda Yaba. Le Sotori Makate. Makotoli Mashinda Yaba. Eli Makandori Makati. Lo Prondo Sinko Toli Mase. Mayana Makamba Robo. Open your heart to God. In the name of Jesus, my Lord and my God, let me forget about my sorrow. In the name of Jesus, let me forget about my disappointment. Do new things for me, O oh God. Do new things for your people, O oh God. In the name of Jesus, do new things, dear lie. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name, we pray. What will make you to forget about your sorrow is the blessing of God. If someone is lacking, you don't have money. Lack will not make you to forget about your lacking area of life. Except when the blessing rests on you. When you don't have money in your pocket, and that was continue. That will remind you many times of that you don't have money. But when you look at your account, the account is not red. You look at your pocket, there's money. Your wife asks you money you're able to give. Your children ask you money you're able to give. You are, you are, you are a blessing to others. People are blessed through you. You forget that you have been poor before. Hallelujah. You're going to forget that you have been poor before. Because God has replaced your sorrow with joy. Say that that's what I want. Replace it. All my trouble that I brought before you, God. Replace it with your joy for me. All my trouble, God. That you replace it. All my disappointment, oh God. Replace it with joy. You told me that your joy is my strength, oh God. Let me have that strength of that joy. Let me have that success. Let me have that breakthrough. Can you lift your voice that you begin to have that breakthrough in your life? Open your heart to God. 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 In the name of Jesus, open your heart to him 
Masi to conte the machine de rebo. Your joy must come in this season. Your joy for breakthrough must come in this season. Your joy for breakthrough must come in this season. Your joy for open heaven must come in this season. Success of God must follow your life. Somebody pray. Breakthrough of God must follow your life. Can you pray and talk to God? Open your heart to pray. Your life must receive that breakthrough that you have been waiting for to receive. Your open doors must begin now. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, we pray. Lift your voice and say, Father, begin to frustrate the tokens of the liars in my life and make the device mad that turn wise backward and make the knowledge a foolish. Oh, Father, begin to frustrate the tokens of the liars. Those that begin to frustrate the effort of the enemies over me. Say, Lord, as you are praying to come out, some people don't want you to come out of it. Some people don't want your story to change. Some people don't want your story to change. Say, why did I find those people? You find those people in your midst. Where are those people? They find those around you. Not everyone that you see that wish. I don't think everybody has to be a suspect before you. I'm not saying that everyone has to be a suspect. Suspect. Some people, some people all people around them are suspect. You don't have to live your your life in a in a in a uh, in a in a fair manner that uh, everybody's a suspect. Oh, this one, this one. You can't eat this one's food. You can't go to this one's house because why? Because they are planning. No, you, you, you are a child of God. You live freely, but in the means. Of those people, you find some people that say no, they don't want those things to happen for you. That they begin to frustrate the, the, the token, begin to frustrate every effort of my enemies. Every effort of enemies to hold your dream down, to hold your children. When they plan this, they fail. When they plan that, they fail. They want to hold you, they see that you are moving forward. Open your heart to God. Father, this morning, begin to frustrate every effort of my enemies. They sacrifice this because of you. Open your heart to God. Father, this morning, begin to frustrate the effort of my enemies. In the name of Jesus, frustrate their plans over me, O oh God. Their wishes, their evil thought, begin to frustrate it. In the name of Jesus, can you lift your voice and begin to pray? Can you open your heart to God that this morning, my Lord, frustrate every effort of enemies over my life in that begin to disappoint their plans, begin to disappoint all their plans concerning my life. Open your heart to Jesus. Somebody pray this morning that Lord God of heaven, frustrate every effort of enemy, all their evil plan, all their evil agenda, begin to frustrate them in the name of Jesus. Those monitoring spirit, monitoring your step in life, make a toy like a diverting the blessing away from you. That they begin to frustrate them, frustrate all their effort, frustrate all their effort, frustrate all their effort over my life, over every evil effort of enemy, evil agendas. In the name of Jesus, pray the Lord God of heaven, frustrate them, destroy their power, destroy their power. Destroy the power, destroy the power, destroy the power, destroy the power. Can you pray? Destroy the power in the name of Jesus. Destroy the power. Ask Lord to destroy the powers of enemy over your life. Destroy the effort. Oh, Katayaba, the effort to pull you down, the effort to hold you captive in the name of Jesus. The effort that your life to remain the same. Open your heart to God. Frustrate them. Frustrate them. Frustrate their effort. In Jesus' name, we pray for those two stories of those two people. We can see at the end, their enemy put to shame. Is someone with five children, hallelujah, that know that has no children before. Now God bless her with the children. Tell me, what do you think? Penina, she's going to say to her, nothing anymore because God has silent Pelina that mocked at her at all time. What else you want to talk about again? Three sons and two daughters. The one that has no children anymore. The one that has no child before. Now, he has three sons 
and two daughters. The Lord will make you to forget your sorrow today. Say that, Amen. You can't be able to move. You can't be able to do things. You can't be able to walk. You, can't, you don't have papers. You don't have anything. Remember, the word of God is the one that told us. He told you that. Remember, he's telling you. Remember, Isaiah chapter 43, verse 18 to 19. He's saying, remember not the former things. Not consider the things of the old. After three children, I don't think Anna will consider the things of the old. I actually want to consider the things of the old. Because it has been things of the past. Today, I stand by the power of the Lord Jehovah God. And by the mandate of Him. I pray over everyone that you are here today. The Lord will make you to forget. Your years of disappointment. Oh, Makali Mastaira. The Lord Jehovah God will make you to forget. Your years of sorrow. In the name of Jesus. The Lord Jehovah God will make you to forget. I agree with me. I will forget it. Mayala Masida. Can you agree? Ikenele Masida. Lo prende tiriada. Lo sondo lima kishe telebo. Makande lima ko prada ya. The Lord will make you to forget. In the name of Jesus. You will forget your years of disappointment. Ikonu makasa telia. Matoli ma ko prada ya. Sando mendelia. La sundo boko shindilia. The Lord will make you to forget. In the name of Jesus. The Lord will make you to forget. I will forget. Say it. I will forget my years of disappointment. I will forget. Ike telebo. Say it. In the Lemakata. La sondo yada. You will forget today that you don't have a job. In the name of Jesus. The Lord will make you to forget. Makatelebo. The Lord will make you to forget. He will turn your story around. He will do it. He will do it. Aili Masaida. He will do it. Open your heart and pray. Lift your voice and begin to agree. Iko Tayaba. In the name of Jesus, it will happen. Whether the enemy like it or not, it will happen for you. The Lord will make you to forget your years of sorrow, your years of disappointment. In the name of Jesus, the Lord God of heaven will make me to forget. I will forget it. I will forget it. I will forget it. Ikatayaba, you spirit of disappointment, you will leave my life. I will forget it. In the name of Jesus, there shall be a separate. It has set us be a separation today. Ikatayaba, between me and you. In the name of Jesus, you spirit of failure, stagnancy, and disappointment. Open your heart to pray. Ayalama, Ikatulia, La Sinduya, Liprandotia. In the name of Jesus. In the life of your children, they will forget it, O oh God. They will forget it. The Lord, you make great things happen for them. The Lord, you make great things happen for them. Lord, you make great things happen for them. In the name of Jesus, you make it gakatoyada le prando tikelia le sonjeli bokopoya. In the name of Jesus, my Father, you can do it. Begin to do it as the Lord He can do it. Let Him begin to do it. Your years of sorrow, ikatayabo le prando sikata. Le prando tea, your life will forget it. That situation of life that you will come out, you will come out, you will come out in Jesus' name. We pray. The Lord make those people to forget their sorrow. The same thing what happened to Joseph. There are many people in the scripture. The Lord you by God make them to forget their disappointment. Abraham forget his own too. Sarah forget about her own. See, who, who can say that Sarah at the end she will, she will have a child? She confess it. Who can say that? That at the end I'm going to carry a baby. Hallelujah. I don't know what you are going through today. I don't know what is passing through you. But then because you run before the Lord, I pray you will forget it. Say you will forget. I will forget. Can you agree by saying I will forget it? My years of disappointment that enemy have delayed me. My years of not having papers in this land. Ah, my kind my My years of not having child. I will forget it. Lord, you will make me to forget it. Your years, oh Kotoya Gaba, that you remain lonely. Ilya Masaida, only my copo rotatelia, Sandoli Makata, Le Prondo Tikelemoshida, Lo Prando Ketelebo, La Prende Kediboko Sadia. 
Le shende le bokota. You will forget it. Your years that enemy have robbed you of blessing. He kotoli makasa te. You will forget it. The Lord will make you to forget it. Heaven will make you to forget it. I will forget it. You katoi adaba. He shende le boko. In Jesus name we pray. You are not forgetting it. You are not forgetting it by saying it alone. You are forgetting it because of a new thing that is going to take place in your life. That's how you're going to make you forget it. He said, Behold, I'm going to do a new thing. Now it springs forth. Do you not perceive it? Another scripture, do you not see it? Some scriptures say, Do you not see it? That means you're going to see it. This People, not only them, their miracle in their life is not in their dreams. It came to manifestation. Some people only dream of great things not happening in their life. You only hear a prophecy, but not coming to pass. Today, but I know, if truly the prophecy from God, it will surely come to pass. I know that. So far, you hold on, you pray. You, pray. you know, there's a prophecy. If God says something about you, that is going to be this. Um, that don't stop. You need to pray also. Because enemy have enemy have hear that now. They say that you're going to promote you. You're going to be blessed. So and also they don't want to come to pass. Remember, look at the prophecy. Jesus Christ has been foretold. Hallelujah. But the, when they show up, the enemy want to destroy him. But thank God, at the end, he had that victory. So when you hear a prophecy about your life that oh my sister you are great, God is going to do something now. The enemy have heard about that now, so he's gonna they're gonna walk not for those things not to come to pass. But whatever thing God has spoken, it will surely come to pass. Remember, he said that confirm the word of his servant and perform the counsel of his messenger. God is gonna bring that word to pass in your life. Hallelujah. That the word of God will surely come to pass in your life if God has spoken it. If God has released that word, as a, a lady. And there's a, you know, I was just about say that you're not going to go through this process. God is going to bless you, and it looked like it's not going to possible. At the end, exact that word came to pass in that life. Hallelujah! Exact that word, the way God has spoken it, came to pass. Hallelujah! Every prophecy you are waiting for to come to pass, that you're going to carry your child. You're going, to, you're going to marry. You're going to move forward. You're going to be blessed in life. Every spirit that delayed those things in your life today, let that yoke break. Can you agree? Let the yoke break. Can you agree with me? Let the yoke say it. Let the yoke break. Agree. Let that yoke break. Can you agree? 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 Let the yoke break. That yoke break, 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 break. Agree with me. Ikatoli masaida. The yoke that is holding the word of God in your life. Elia Masaida, Mokodi Mako Parota. Let that yoke break, 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 break in the name of Jesus. The yoke that delayed the word of you. Matali Maka Parota Kata. That I will carry my child. Thou that Katoya Kata. Le Sondo Roshi Kerata. Lo Brando Kopositile. Thank you, my daddy. In Jesus' name, we pray. I want you to open your mouth and pray. I want you to, I want you, I don't know. I want to begin to mention all what you have been told to the word of God, whether by revelation, by Rema word of God, that is going to happen in your life that you are not yet seen. That he has never, he has not yet come to pass in your life. I want you to begin to open your mouth and pray to God. Say, Lord, this is what you have told me that I'm going to be. Say, Lord, let it begin to come to pass. He say, I'm going to have my child. See that he do it. You told me that I'm going to carry my child. You told me that I'm going to be healed. I'm talking to somebody now. There's something that's going to happen for you right now as you are saying it. Remind him, say it. All what you have been told already that is going to happen for you. Say, I'm going to be blessed. You told me I'm going to get my papers. Oh, Yalabasin to Rubushatayaba. Lift your voice and begin to say, Lord, begin to do it now. Somebody open your mouth and pray. Something is about to happen in your life right now. The yoke of that delay is about to break. In the name of Jesus. 
the yoke of that delay is about to break. Say it, say it. Begin to mention those things. Say it, what you have been told that is going to happen. You have been told that you're going to move forward, that you're going to go higher. You have been told that you're going to be blessed in life. Open your heart to pray. Open your heart and pray. Let that yoke begin to break now. Begin to talk to God. Let that yoke begin to break now. In the name of Jesus, let that yoke begin to break now. You have been told that you're going to move forward. Eh? Say it. Let it come to pass. Let it come to pass. Open your heart. It's coming to pass. It's coming to pass. You told me that I'm going to get my papers. You told me Ikataya Namakasa Koshaya. Open your heart to pray. Tell them, I don't know what you have been told. You told me that I'm going to live long in that with a good health. You told me that I'm ill by your power. Open your heart to pray. Can you pray? Let those things begin to come to pass in your life. No more delay of God's blessing. No more delay of God's glory. In the name of Jesus. No more delay of that breakthrough. Let those things begin to come to pass in your life. Let those things begin to come to pass in your own. In the name of Jesus, pray and talk to God. It must come to pass this year. In the name of Jesus, your breakthrough must come to pass this year. In the name of Jesus, open your heart to pray. Pray. Pray those things must come to pass in your life. Ever more akin to your boy, the Lord must position you to the right place of fulfillment. In the name of Jesus, you come out of that place that hold you down. In the name of Jesus, talk thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name, we pray. Is that not the word of God that told us in Isaiah chapter 41? Isaiah chapter 45, verse 1. He said, Thou says the Lord is anointed to his Cyprus, whose right and have Odin to the nation before him. I will lose the limbs of the king to open before him the two level gate, and the gate shall not be shut. See, God said, I'm going to open the gate before this Cyprus. He says, He's going to open the gate before Cyprus. Why the gate start to open? He said, And that gate will not be shut anymore. He said, He went over and said, How we go before thee to make the quicker place straight. God said, before this Cyprus, I'm going to make the quicker place straight. I will break in pieces the gate of brass, and I will cut in asunder every bars of iron. I mean, God said, look at it, he's telling, I'm going to remove what those things, gate can stand as hindrances. Gate can be two things. It can stand as security, and also it can stand as hindrances. I don't know what part that enemy turns to you. A gate is a protection physically. Normally, you know, like if you have a gate in your house, it's like protection. So you put physically, in the physical world, you can stand. But God said that the gate of hindrances, the gate that don't want you to have access to where God, you know, to the plans of God for your life, God said, I'm going to break that gate. Can you open your mouth and pray? Daddy, put the gate down. The gate that is holding me back, not to move forward. Where you are last year, the enemy wanted to remain the same in that place. Say that he break that gate in my life now. The gate of failure that stands before me. The gate of disappointment. Not for me to have access to what you have in plan for me. The gate that been robbing you of God's blessing. Holy Ghost, let that gate break. Iko nana that is the word of God. He says he's going to break that gate. I will break the gate. I will break the gate in pieces. He's going to break that the gate in pieces. Open your heart and pray. The gate of failure that owed me. The gate that owed my dream. That did break that gate today. The gate of disappointment. He said, I'm going to cut in asunder every irons, every bars of iron. He says he's going to break it in pieces. He says he's going to break it in pieces. As Lord, break it in pieces. This whatever that is standing before me, for me not to have access to my breakthrough. Open your heart and break, break it in pieces. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name, we pray. There's some gate that's so real in the life of many, physical than the physical gate. Physical, sorry than the gate in your own house. 
that anywhere is, that you go in life is there before you. Never have the apex of your life to have access to, you, to your life. Never allow you to move to the next level in life. You are stuck in one place. But remember the Lord, the word of the Lord told you that he's going to do a new thing. Today you're going to come out today out of that situation. Every gate before you that don't want to allow you to have access to where you belong. To every word that has been spoken, every word of God has been spoken concerning you. To fulfill what has been written concerning your life. Those gates in the life of your children that is moving away the epas of their life. The epas of their dreams. Epas of their future. Those gates today, the Lord will break it. 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 Can you agree with me? Lord, you will break it. That gate of barrenness, that gate of delay, that gate of failure that is standing before me. Lord, you will break it. You will break it. Whether in your family, pray. Lord, you will break that gate from me. Jehovah God, you will break that gate in my life. You will break that gate in this country for me. In the name of Jesus. Lord, you will break in the life of your children this morning. Father, break it. Break that gate that is holding them. That delay of their blessing. That delay of their glory. That delay of their life. In the name of Jesus, you will break it. 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 Say, Katoya Namakapaon. Lord, you will break it. Father, you will break it. Jehovah God, you are breaking it this morning. Father, you are breaking it this morning. You are breaking it this morning. In Kotota Telima Sada, La Konima Kashin Toriba, Le Kotorima Shin Delebo, Mason Torima Kataba, Mason Totolima Kaparaba. You will break it in the name of Jesus. You will break it. Mashin Torima City. You will break it. Makatolima Shandabo. You will break it. Iko Tolima Sidia. The Lord, you will break it. You will break that gate. You will break that gate of failure. In the name of Jesus. You will break that gate of disappointment. Mashito Tolima Kapayaba. Le son Tolima Shin Delebo. Makatolima Kapayerebo. You will break it. Lord, you will break it. You will break it. In the name of Jesus. You will break it. Makatolima Sandayabo. Matolima Kantolima Shin Delebo. Le Prendoti Kelebo. You will break it, O God. You will break it, O God. You will break it, O God. You are moving the gate away. In the name of Jesus. You are moving it away. Can you agree with me? God is moving it. He's setting on fire in your life. That gate of disappointment. The Lord is setting on fire. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, my Father. In Jesus' name, we pray. I pray whatever that is standing for you not to have access to the plan of God for your life. Failure is not the plan of God for you. I want you to know that. Whatever thing that makes you to cry, that makes you to share tears, is not the plan of God for you. What That sickness is not the plan of God for you. How can God put a sickness on you where he has healed you already? Can you think God is going to do that for you? Where God has healed you. you say by stripe you are healed. So God is going to put sickness on you. He said, I will not put sickness of the Egyptian upon you. Every power that is standing for you not to have access to God's breakthrough. Today the Lord will consume it by fire. Today you will enter into a place of fulfillment. Remember, the gate stands as hindrances and God says he's going to remove those gates. In verse 3, he said, I will give thee the treasure. Now, you have access now. The gate did not allow you to have access before, but in verse 3, when the gate is removed, now, there's access today. I will give thee the treasures of darkness and hidden riches of the secret place that you have access to that place now. Today I decree where you have been owed back, where you don't have access to in your life today, let heaven open the doors for you in the name of Jesus. Begin to have access to your joy, the joy that Jehovah God has paid the price for you. Have access to your breakthrough, have access to your success, in the name of Jesus, Mayana Makaso Toli Makate, Lo Brodosik Toli Makaparotaye, Lashinda Yabakatelia. Today, access begin today. I 
access begin to that purpose today, to that fulfillment, to that breakthrough over your life. Now begin to tell the Lord, what do you need? Tell the Lord, open your heart to God. Tell the Lord, what do you need now? God of heaven can do it. This money can give you your joy in the name of Jesus. Now open your heart to God and begin to tell the Lord what you need. Open your heart to God. What do you need? Tell the Lord this morning. Don't play with your moment. This is your moment to ask. Ask the Lord. Daddy, I need a breakthrough. I want to have access to this in my life. I need a child. Is that what you need? God is able to do it. Our God that is here in our midst today is able to do all things. Is able to do it, not all things, in abundant. Let your rate keshata. Let God give to you that breakthrough that you have been waiting for. Let those doors open for you in the name of Jesus. You have been waiting for your breakthrough. You have been waiting for your breakthrough. Let it begin now in your life. In the name of Jesus, that very thing you are asking, no more delay on it. I stand by the authority of my Father and I decree in the name of Jesus. That very thing that you are mentioning out of your mouth, no more deny upon it anymore. In the name of Jesus, I stand by the authority of my Father. He Catholic Masida by Sato Yamakase. By his mandate, I decree over that very thing. No more deny. No more deny. No more deny. You are delivered from it. I don't know what you are asking. I don't know what you are saying. Le prodo I don't know it. But I tell you, Masai de Botoya. I eat to the makate. I stand by the power of the Lord and by His mandate to you that delay over thing is over. Over that very thing that you are asking the Lord in the name of Jesus. Deny is over. Let it begin to work for your good. In the name of Jesus. Let it begin to work for your good. In the name of Jesus. Let it begin to work for your good. Mashindo Roboshanda. Let it begin to work for your good. Makanto Rimushin Telebo. Let it begin to work for your good. In the name of Jesus. Let it begin to happen for you. In the name of Jesus. Let it begin to come your way. No more hindrances. Every power that is holding it back from you. That power remove. Every spirit that is holding it back from you. That spirit remove. Receive it now. Receive it now. Receive it now. I receive. Receive that blessing now. In the name of Jesus. Let it come to pass now. Let it manifest now. In the name of Jesus. Is your time. Is your turn, I decree. Is your time, is your turn over that very thing. Is your time, is your turn. Go in this God's blessing and return back with a testimony. I say, go in this God's blessing and return back with a great testimony. I say, go in this God's blessings and return back. With a great testimony. So shall it be. It will happen quickly for you. So shall it be. In Jesus name we pray. Amen. Amen. Amen in Jesus name. Listen. The Lord will bring that word to pass in your life. Somebody that Isaiah chapter 43 verse 18 to 19 shall come to pass in your life. Write it down. Say, I give God the praise. Isaiah chapter 43, verse 18 to 19, will come to pass in your life. And it will come to pass before the end of this month. Hallelujah. Before this month over, that word will come to pass in your life. Receive that grace in the name of Jesus. Receive that grace. And that's how it's going to be for you. That word will surely come to pass in your life. Go in this God's blessing and return with the great things. All God shall be great for you in the name of Jesus. So shall it be. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen, amen. Hallelujah. May us put in mind today is Wednesday and you know what happened on Wednesday is a Bible study where we come to Bible discussion where we come together to discuss the word of God. I know I encourage you as we pray also have time for the word of God. Both goes ends in end. And I know the Lord Jehovah God will do great things in your life. You can join the Bible's discussion on Zoom. You can join it on Zoom tonight. And that Zoom number is, that's the Zoom number right there. If you want to join on Zoom, you can join, which I encourage you to join so you can be a particle of it. You can able to speak. 
you know, you know. So I know the Lord Jehovah God will do great things for you. And also let's put in mind that our prayer start tomorrow. Oh yes, yeah, start tomorrow night, which is around seven. No, it's gonna begin around seven in the evening. Okay, for those in London, it's gonna begin for for those in London or Africa around 7 p.m. That means you're at 12 midnight by then. So the prayer this from Thursday is going to be at midnight. It's going to be at midnight. So for those in London and Africa, so we're going to pray at midnight. So that time is going to be around 7 my time. And we'll come to pray together. So for those in America and, uh, and in North America, like you're like Mexico or wherever you are, or in Canada. Uh, our own is going to be 1, 1 a.m. in the night. So for these seven days, I want you to get yourself. That's why I say sometimes I'm not going to come in the morning. So not to confuse some people, you know. So like you don't see me in the morning, that like you know that I'm going to come in the evening. Hallelujah. Because I want you to focus on that night prayer. Hallelujah. Yes, I won't end uh, now. So by next week, we, after that prayer, we continue our normal sex uh, um, prayer. You know, I want you to know that. So, so if you don't see me in the morning like this, don't worry. You know that I'm coming at midnight. Hallelujah! I purposely going to do that. Hallelujah! So I want you to focus, and I want you to pay attention to what at that moment, what is going on at that moment. I want you to pray at night. And it, it takes a sacrifice. Oh, Pastor, I'm going to go to work in the morning. I know you're going to go to work, but you know, sometimes you sacrifice sometimes. Hallelujah. So that's what you're going to do. So you have to sacrifice. So that's how it's going to be from Thursday. The, those people in America, like in London or in Nigeria, their own is seven. 7 p.m. my time. That means your 12 midnight. Let me just see that one. Your 12. I know so. I don't know whether some is ahead. I don't know which one is ahead. I don't know whether Nigeria is ahead. I don't know whether uh, London. I know. I think they are the same level, right? Please just let me know because I don't want you to wait for long. Because if it's 12 and it's one, let's see. I think the only thing is start by 12. That's why I know that. Okay, by 12. Which is going to be 7 p.m. my time, Eastern time, Eastern time, and later on, by one again, I pray. So, so just know that I want you to pray at midnight, at that midnight hour. I want you to lift your voice to God, and let's see what is going to happen after it. And I know the Lord Jehovah God that you call by night, by day, we answer you by fire quickly. In the name of Jesus. Father, we cover the water by the blood of Jesus Christ. We decree over this water that the blessing of you rest on it. Let it bring healing and deliverance to your people. In the name of Jesus, let it bring favor over your people, oh God. That day we have lifted our voice before you. Let that be reply quickly. That day let that be reply to everyone that lift up their voice to you this morning. Reply them. Reply them. Reply them in your glory. Reply them in your power. Reply them in your riches, O oh God. Let them know that you are God. Thank you, everlasting Father. And let them return with a great testimony. So shall it be in Jesus' name. To everyone trusting God for the food of whom, let that yoke of barrenness break. Let the word of God come to pass in your life this very year. I decree over your life. I don't know how it's going to happen, but I decree today that the word of God come to pass over you in your life in this very, 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 very year of 2021. You will not miss it. It shall happen. So shall it be. I pray for everyone lifting the work of God. Let Jehovah God lift you up. Bless you. Favor you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Let's share the grace together. For the grace of Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the spirit fellowship of the Holy Spirit. Be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us. All the days of our life, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. You are, uh, uh, thank you, my daddy. You are blessed. You are blessed. I don't know whether somebody is giving a gift, like a, I don't know, 
Oh, somebody say there's a birthday. Is that what I see? Hmm. Okay. The Lord will bless that very person in the name of Jesus. That person will increase. I don't know. Is that what I see that I'm thinking I see a gift? Hmm. Hallelujah. Because I see as I'm saying, I see a rap gift. But I see somebody mentioned that the birthday. Hmm. Hallelujah. Father, let what you want to do manifest. Let the one that you have prepared a gift for. Let that gift manifest in the life of that person. In the name of Let that blessing be delivered to you. And the one doing birthday today, let the person increase and be favor of the Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 You are blessed and highly favor everyone. God bless you. See you. See you tonight by 7.30 on Zoom and also on then on YouTube and also the yes. But I would like you to join through Zoom. God bless you. Bye bye.